More than 80,000 electric vehicles are registered now in North Carolina. They're great for a lot of things, but the big concern with them, one of them is that when EVs catch fire, it can be very difficult to put that fire out. So fire departments have a solution, a big blanket. WRO's Monica Casey heard from the fire department that's got them on hand just in case. The Southern Pines Fire Department is looking ahead at how to deal with EV fires. Two new fire blankets at $1,600 each could be the answer. These blankets can cover cars of many sizes. The fire resistant material slows the spread, allowing first responders to get the burning vehicle away from other cars or buildings. We've had some fires that were lithium ion battery related for telephones. We actually had a pretty good apartment fire that was um, caused by a, um, a child's scooter that was electrical. Southern Pines Fire Chief Mike Cameron tells me they haven't had an EV fire yet, but they want to be prepared. A Tesla engulfed in flames at RDU last fall blocked travelers from getting on their planes. There's no more electric vehicle fires than there are regular gas vehicle fires. However, the problem is, is when you have an electric vehicle fire, it's more challenging for the fire department to put out. Cameron tells me the difficulty stems from multiple batteries in a battery box that's difficult to get to. When you get one sale going, you could have what's called uh, thermal runaway, and it goes from sale to sale to sale, and it's very, very difficult to get water or other extinguishing agents on that. There is also a longer term use for the blankets, which could stay wrapped around the cars for weeks later. There is some proven data out there that says these batteries, once they've been damaged in a wreck or damaged by fire, they could actually start reignite up to 30 days later. In Southern Pines, Monica Casey, WRL News.